to get in the kitchen and have a good meal, maybe with some hamburger hacks, because mm. that's what we're talking about right now. <laughs> it is, Tracy. Do you know what? So we... soup on the side, hamburger for your main. Exactly. It's all there. We live our lives in restaurants because of the work that we do, so yes. we're always dashing around and we're trying to kind of keep ourselves sane. But when it comes to home cooking, we try and keep it really, really simple. Mm -hmm. So today we thought it'd be really good fun to show you some simple hamburger hacks using the kind of things that you might have in your home already, like frozen hamburgers, yeah. like breadcrumbs, like tomato puree, like Easy. onions, like all those little bas basic bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to do two things. One's going to be a wonderful meatloaf and one is going to be a really dreamy cottage pie. So watch and learn. <laughs> what do you call it? Cottage pie? Do I call it cottage pie. Do we shepherd's call that pie. Shepherds? Well, one is shepherd's. I think shepherd's is lamb yeah. and cottage is, is beef. beef. Got it. Yeah. So it's cottage pie that I It is. It is. I've been it's calling it the wrong pie. thing forever. I'm sorry. <laughs> Off from the start. No, exactly. Thank you. I See, shepherd, lamb, it's all there. Um, you know, as Justin says, so we actually broke down some burgers, just put them in a pan here with some uh, chopped carrot. Mm -hmm. uh, we put a little bit of gravy in there. We just fried the whole thing up. It's got some fried onions in there too. Yum. And then we just kind of reduced that all down so you get this wonderful kind of like mix almost like a good old beef stew right okay and you just want to cook that for about 20 minutes get a bit of heat in there and then transfer it onto a piece of parchment paper yep which Very we've done good. down there. The interesting thing about that as well is when you're cooking the hamburger, a lot of the oil is displaced. So you can take it out of the pan, pop it in a colander, allow the oil to drop away at the bottom. So hey presto, you save 20 nice. 20 percent of calories. Tracy, pass me the mustard if you would, my love, down there. Where just is at the it? Thank there you very you much. Go. So this is this turned out onto there. So we're gonna add just a tiny bit of piquant mush, uh, mustard. Now, generally speaking, mustard falls into loads of different categories, but this is simple French hot, in fact, Dijon mustard, really gorgeous. Okay. Now it probably probably looks like we're adding quite a lot there, which I am, because for some reason it won't spread as liberally as I'd like <laughs> it to do. But imagine that beautifully spread out there in one sequence of artistic yeah, perfection. You know, you know that we can freestyle yeah, on exactly. TV. You do whatever you want. What else do you want? Then I'm going to pop a little bit of this. Again, a basic that most people might have in their, in their, in their cupboard. A lovely barbecue sauce. So pop some of that across the top. Squish there. it on. There we are. Oh Just yeah, like that. baby. Liberally. Now you're doing and it. And this is the good bit. And then cheese. Do we love cheese? We love cheese. If you love cheese, you'll love these. <laughs> Get the cheese on there. We have one minute left. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Go on. So we need to roll this baby around there. Now you can roll that, and because the cheese so, is in the middle, yeah. As you roll this and then cook it, and then when you cut it apart. You're going to be left with this beautiful meatloaf down there. Okay. You can see the cheese oozing exactly. in the okay. center. For the shepherd's pies, you can actually use the same mix here. All the details will be on the CityLine website. Yes. And put them into individual little dishes. That's what I love about here. this. Can you, you show know? us how you made the pretty top? Uh, well, actually, we just took some more of the mashed potato there, and yes. you would just spread that over the top, and then get a fork. Before we go, if but what you about one of these? Look at the little meatloaf there. I know. Ah. Look, this is the best. Yeah. That's the best thing ever. It won't hurt a bit. Ah. Ah. Here you go, doctor. <laughs> So like just put so like you made normal mashed potato mashed things. Potato come on in, guys, in there. You can come, come on. In. But remember, put an egg in this. When you're doing like, the duchesse potatoes, put an oh. egg in there as well because when they bake, they go that gorgeous, oh gosh, really lovely it. golden color. So this what is do you how call you can these mashed potato the, florets? Duchesse. Uh, duchesse. Uh, duchesse. duchesse. Not du <laughs> not douche. Not douche. <laughs> no, no, go for the Go for the Duchesse. Duchesse. Really? What are you calling? Help me, Randy. 